Hey guys, took the Keltec sub 2000th range after adding the accessories to it. Zero the rut out there at the end of the range at 20 yards. I thought it grew fine. One of my issues with the Keltec sub 2000 was the felt recoil after adding the o ring at the back of the buffer tube and adding a sling. There is still, you know, a lot of felt recoil compared to if it was like a gas operated, you know, 9mm, but less felt recoil overall. It was pleasant to shoot. I still plan on adding a vertical grip to the Caltech and taking it and shooting it beyond 50 yards. Here at the indoor range, it is 20 yards, and I thought I was gripping fine for shooting, you know, there offhand. The controls still feel a bit awkward for the charging handle. Before I was uh, supporting the stock as my shoulder and then coming hard with my left hand, but then I wasn't always bringing the charging handle all the way back. So now I've been with my right hand pushing the pistol grip forward and then coming hard with the left hand, making sure it goes all the way back. And uh, when I'm doing that, I'm coming off the shoulder and just pushing hard in hard motion and letting go of the charging handle, letting it rock forward. And I haven't had, you know, feeding issues like that, but you know, just need to practice with it more. Fun to shoot. It is an affordable 9mm rifle. It takes Glock mags, really not a whole lot I can say there. The idea is, for me, at least with this, is extending your range. You are gaining velocity compared to a pistol, but not to a significant degree, in my opinion. Uh, cool concept. I plan on messing with the setup a little bit more. And here's the rest of the range video, just practicing reloads and just still shooting there at 20 yards.